Mathematics in the Modern World Equal Sets and Equivalent Sets When are two sets equal? When are two sets equivalent? Two sets A and B are equal if and only if A and B have the same elements. I first saw this definition of equal sets sometime 30 or 32 years ago. And being a writer, I found that maybe this is a redundant. Why do you have to say if and only if? Well, why do you have to say it that way when, when if will do? So when I first saw this, and me being somewhat kind of a writer when I was a young man, I found this to be possibly redundant. But I discovered that, no, it's not redundant. This is how you put this kind of statements. You use that kind of conjunction. So this one math sentence is actually equivalent to two math sentences. If A is equal to B, then A and B have the same elements. If A and B have the same elements, then A is equal to B. Example, your class. You are a section A. So you are classmates in all subjects for this semester. And then during the sporting event or sporting festival in your school, your section decides to compete in a cheerleading competition. All of you will be members of that team. So you have two sets. The set, set A is you as an academic section. And the other set is you as members of a team who will compete in cheerleading contests. But basically, the members are the same. And so those two sets are equal sets. What about equivalent sets? When are two sets equivalent? So two sets A and B are equivalent. And that is how we write it. If and only if A and B have the same number of elements. So this is like a compound statement or a compound sentence, and it is composed of two sentences. If A is equivalent to B, then A and B have the same number of elements. In the last video, we spoke about the cardinal number of a set. If a set is finite, then that set has a cardinal number, and that is simply the number of elements in that set. So we can use that in the definition of equivalent sets. So if the cardinal number of A and B are the same or, uh, or equal, then A is equivalent to B. So what would be an example of this? So you can look at A as the first five of section A in a, basket, in a basketball tournament. So you have the mythical five, your best first five. And the other section also has their own first five. So those two sets are examples of equivalent sets. Example 1.12, equal sets and equivalent sets. Which pairs are equal? Equivalent, both or neither equal nor equivalent. Suppose these are our sets. A is equal to this, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. B is equal to 4, 5, 6, and 7. Obviously, they are not equal because they have different elements but they have the same number of elements. The cardinal number of A is 4. The cardinal number of B is 4. Therefore, A is equivalent to B. How about this one? Okay, so this is kind of tricky. So I will give you 15 seconds to think through this set. What are the elements of this set and how many elements are contained in this set? Okay. Well, this one is easy, okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, the cardinal number of set D is 10. But what about this? Well, the elements of set C are, okay, so N is a natural number. So, this one is not just any number. It is a natural number. That is our symbol for the set of natural numbers. So, so C is a set of natural numbers greater than 3 but less than 10. Those elements would be this. And how many are they? One, two, three, four, five, six. So obviously they are not equal. Obviously. And they are not also equivalent because the cardinal number of C is six. The cardinal number of D is ten.
C is not equivalent to D. So, C and D are neither equal nor equivalent sets.